Hey everybody, this is John with CruiseFever.net. Just wanted to do a little video tour of the Celebrity Constellation. Had a chance to do a five-day cruise on this ship. It's a 90,000-ton ship that can hold about 2,000 passengers. It was built in 2002, but it was refurbished or solsticized in April of 2013, given a lot of the solstice-class upgrades to this Millennium-class ship with Celebrity. This part of the ship is the Thalassotherapy Pool which is ocean water. It's supposed to be very good for your skin. Uh, it's indoor pool here, so it's always nice and relaxing and, and warm in this area. The pools do close at 10 o'clock. On either side of this pool, there is a uh, whirlpool. There's all kinds of um, lawn chairs around the pool, great views of the ocean, great place just to sit back and relax. And here's the main pool deck with um, two large pools, one that's six feet deep. And they do a lot of volleyball game, water volleyball games throughout the week there as well. Got a couple jacuzzis on this part of the ship. Actually, there's a total of four on the, in this main pool deck. Here's some of the artwork you'll find around the ship, the monkey with the fish, and there's a few other really uh, neat pieces of art that you'll find when you're aboard the Constellation. There's a nice shot at nighttime what it looks like with all the lights on. You can see during the day when they have the volleyball games going on, it can be a little crowded. So I like to go down to deck four if you want a little bit of solitude, but still be outside. Um, this is nice and open usually, and there's a few lawn chairs there, so you can just kind of relax in a more serene environment. There's uh, one ping pong table on the pool deck towards the end there near the buffet. It's got one of the nicest basketball courts I've seen on a cruise ship. This was part of the renovation as well. Almost a full-size basketball court. Actually saw the captain and his crew playing out there a little bit, doing some pickup games. So really nice court. There's a dartboard there. There's some uh, volleyball nets and things as well. And here's part of the, uh, the aqua spa, the salon area. And it's got a nice cozy uh, gymnasium with all kinds of ellipticals and treadmills and, and weights and things. There's nothing like working out at sea and having great views of the ocean while you work out some muscles as well. Try to work off some of that uh, amazing food aboard the ship. This is one of the um, massage rooms. And we're going to look at the Persian garden next that has some of the Turkish baths and some of the steam rooms. Really nice area of the ship. Got a little tour of it before the, uh, the cruise began. You do have to pay extra for some of these. And some of them you can reserve for, uh, for couples. The room here at the end you can reserve just for, uh, for two people if you'd like right here in this part of the ship. Let's take a look at some of the food aboard the Constellation. San Marco is the main restaurant. The upstairs is for the, um, the select dining or anytime dining, and the downstairs is for the, the fixed dining. The anytime dining, I believe, or the select dining, you have to be there between 5.30 and 9.30, and fixed dining is either at 6 o'clock or 8.30 if you choose the, the later dinner. Blue is part of the is a restaurant just for the aqua class guests, more of a uh, healthy menu, and uh, very elegant and beautiful uh, restaurant here. Aqua class is part of the solstice upgrades that the celebrity got. Bistro on Five is another one is one of the. Um, specialty dining restaurants, but this is a very casual one, just $5, and they have soups and salads and um, sandwiches and that kind of thing. One of the other main 
uh, or uh, specialty dining restaurants is the Tuscan Grill, which is an Italian steakhouse. I had a chance to eat here with my wife, and uh, very good food, excellent service. The price was thirty-five dollars for uh, each person, and you just can't beat the service on specialty dining. But really, the the food is so good in the main dining room. Um, sometimes it can be hard to justify the, the extra cost, but here's some of the dishes that we enjoyed in the Tuscan Grill. Ocean Liners is another specialty dining restaurant that costs $45 per person. It's very exquisite European um, French style dining. Here you can kind of watch the, uh, the chefs as they prepare the meal as you sit and wait. Ocean View Cafe is part of the uh, the buffet on the ship. We'll give you a few shots of what the buffet looks like. And uh, really uh, a lot of variety there. Some of the seats have these little windows in the floor, so you can kind of, you're like right over the ocean as you sit there. The pizza was actually really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's from noon till 11 p.m. They have pizza coming out all the time in the pizzeria station. They can also make you pasta to order, any kind of pasta you want, whatever. You pick your own sauce, your own meats and they'll make it for you right there at the buffet. This is near the back of the buffet, all kinds of sandwiches and uh, paninis and things like that. And in the evenings, they have all kinds of steaks. They'll cook your steak to order, however you want, New York strip and pork and chicken, all kinds of stuff back there. All kinds of delicious desserts. And they have uh, quite a variety of sushi as well for those that Love their sushi at sea. Here's some of those. They can have salmon, New York strip, uh, pork, chicken, sausage, all kinds of stuff they'll cook for you. You just have to wait about seven, eight minutes. Here they have some coffee and juices, um, lemonade, and you can actually get your hot drink to go in these to-go cups, which I really like. You can bring your coffee back to your room or wherever you'd like aboard the ship. And amazing cookies. Loved the cookies. I had to throw that in there. There's also ice cream that's available um, throughout the day when there's lunch going on and everything. It doesn't cost any extra. This is the very back of the cafe, a great place to, to grab your, your meal and eat out here. Um, the very back of the ship, great views. Very relaxing. So I just want to show a couple clips of that. You can't beat those views for having your lunch out there. This is right around the pool deck here. They have some of the, uh, near the thalassotherapy pool, they have some more um, healthy conscious meals that you can enjoy right here in the near the solarium. Let's check out the Celebrity Theater. Can't remember how many seats, but an average size theater, I guess, at sea. They had some um, good shows. They had a juggler, they had a, a magic show, and they also had some music and dance numbers. Uh, one was I Hollywood, and I can't remember the name of the other one. But nice and spacious seating in the uh, theater there as well. Plenty of legroom. Check out the Fortunes Casino. Not the largest casino I've seen at sea, but. Gets the job done if you want to burn through a bunch of money real quick. <laughs> you don't care where it goes. And of course, they always have an ATM machine. So you can easily access your money. So you can lose it even faster. It's a very small arcade on the ship. Um, just what you see here in this little tiny room. This is right near the Fun Factory. Uh, like the kids center which i don't have a video of here in the, in the kids club or the uh, teen x club is there as well let's take a look at the library aboard the ship there's some games and books a nice little cozy area here and right above the library is actually the i lounge or the uh the cyber cafe where you can check your internet it's all been upgraded on this ship as well all apple products Nice big screens, and you can actually purchase any Apple products, a MacBook or iPad or iPhone or anything like that, uh, right on the ship as well. And here I show the uh, the rates, what it costs per minute 
or if you want to use the internet. There is Wi-Fi all over the ship as well. That's part of the upgrade on the ship. This is uh, the atrium, basically, of the ship, right in the heart of it. Decks 3, 4, and 5, I believe. This is on deck three here, the guest relations desk. And also here there's newspapers that have uh, news from any country where you're from. So you can keep up with what's going on at home. Book your excursions right here in this area of the ship. They have some gelatos and all kinds of snacks in this little cafe. Let's take a look at some of the lounges aboard the Constellation. This is the Rendezvous Lounge. Right now there's an art gallery going on in the ship. But usually there's singing and dancing and live music. And, uh, a lot of fun. And this is the Reflections Lounge, uh, deck 11 forward of the ship. Great views, uh, by the way, during the day and at night. There's all kinds of dancing and jazz music. The Emporium is the, um, the shopping center, if you will. The mall of the ship. All kinds of jewelry and perfume and um, some clothing. It's a little souvenir gift shop with some reasonable prices. So the Celebrity Constellation, as uh, if you haven't checked it out since the solsticization of the ship, that's a hard word to say, um, check it out. Great view at sunset there. It's a um, great job with the upgrades. And uh, be sure to check us out at cruisefever.net if you have any questions or comments about this video. Be sure to leave it below, and uh, we'll see you guys later.